When I first saw people shooting the rapids on stand-up paddle boards, it really inspired me. But the Colorado River can be cold. I wanted to find a way to train for this activity that didn't require so much time in the frigid waters. Then I heard about AKZ land paddle boards. It seemed like the perfect solution, but I was about to get a healthy dose of humility. Sometimes it takes a wake-up call to remind you that it's time to live. So I'm making up for lost time, throwing myself head first into a bucket list of outdoor adventures. And with the help of our guest experts, hopefully providing you with some inspiration to go for it yourself. I'm Bill Rooney. This is the No Huddle Life. I've yet to be on a paddleboard, so yeah, if I, if I can do this to some degree of, uh, of competency, then anybody can do it. Terrific. Well, then we're going to prove that anybody can do it. I'll adapt to your, your level and we'll get you right. <laughs> All right, man. I love it. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Appreciate it. All right. Sounds good, Bill. See you soon. All right, Keith. A uh, quick story about how, how these came about, how, how, how were these developed, like the purpose? The purpose, well my wife and I paddleboard a lot and here in Colorado, as you might imagine, the water's frozen half the time. So, you know, as with all things athletic, once I start to get good at something, I tend to want to compete just a little bit. So I thought, alright, how do I train in the off season if the water's frozen? The problem with land paddling, as I had seen it anyway, is people are doing it on regular longboard skateboards. Right. Which means then you have to stand skate style right, 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 in right. order to do it. Right. And I thought, if I'm going to do this, I want to do this right. I want to train the right muscle groups. And one day it came to me, I thought, why don't I just make a board that actually does it and adapt the running gear to the board? Cool. Even the idea of skateboarding, it's just something that... Yeah, I quit skateboarding when I was 15. Okay. <laughs> so, and I'm 52 now. Oh, okay. So, hey, good. We're going to do just fine. Yeah. Well, okay. How about uh, we get started? Let's go. So I'm going to show you how I get on. And I'm going to put my front foot on first. Okay. Right in the middle. And then I'm going to put some weight on this paddle here mm. so that I've got my, my balance and stability. I'm going to bring my back foot up. Okay. Put it on. And there we go. I'm standing up. Next thing is, I'm ready to ride. Yep. I feel like I've got some balance. I'm just gonna lean forward a little bit on this paddle and pull the board and it's just gonna go. Yeah, let's ratchet it back to uh, level zero. I hope I just don't fall and, and crash on the concrete, basically. All right, well, let's start you on the grass. Okay. Now, getting on, just get on. Just just make sure you've got a good stable point right there with the paddle and hop right on just like you did. I'm already, like, over overexerted. <laughs> I actually got a cramp in my foot. <laughs> That's the first thing people complain about. Really? Yeah, it's the first thing that happens. What's the next thing to do? Let's get you moving. Woo! Right, right there. Use that for your stability. There you go. It just want, I want to go right away. There you go. My feet are like cramping up. I'm going to have to have some water. Okay. Now steer it into the grass if you want to slow down or stop. Just for the beginning here. Ooh. Good okay. save. Good <laughs> save. <laughs> so right there, use some muscles that I didn't know yep. I had. Okay. And you're off and no injuries to the foot. I turned. You did. Little mini baby, baby steps, baby steps. I, I get this. This uh, left arm straight. This thing. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, let's see. <laughs> Just 
showing off is what's happening. Let's be honest about this. <laughs> so just like the one time we went bowling together and she beat me, this is obviously, she's, she's the proficient member of the family on this one. That's just like, come on. I messed up there. So I must be going down a hill and, and I'm freaking out a little bit. So I head for the grass. <laughs> That's good. Much. There you go, and you're riding. You're much more control. Yes. When your arm is extended. We got a turn done, man. Yes. Thank you. So we're gonna have these boards available on our website. We're only gonna feature like super cool things that we love, and this is it. Congratulations and very well done on this. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Keith. Thanks well, my much. My pleasure, Bill, thank you. All right. So happy to have done this. I'm telling you, it's a ton of fun. People will ask you a lot about it, and I promise you this is so much easier than riding a skateboard. Once, once you've ridden a little bit, you've already had the feely a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. It'll come to you. There's a lot to know about this, and we could only do so much in the time that we had. So, you know, whatever questions you may have on these amazing, unique things, send them on in in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure, okay? Thanks. This activity was obviously not my strong suit, but I'm even more determined now to rise above. First on land, and then on to the river rapids. The core exercise you get on these land boards is pretty intense. So even if I was rolling slow as a turtle, I did get one hell of a workout. <laughs>